and I was like, man, maybe I'm the problem here. Um, no, but it's, it's been good. You know, it's, uh, I feel like we've adjusted well, and the um, team's playing well, and, and uh, it's fun to be a part of. How long did it take you to kind of get over the initial shock and then work your yeah. way? Yeah, it always takes a little bit of time. You know, there's a, there's, there's a lot of moving parts. You know, you're moving a family across the country, too. We've got little kids and trying to get them settled. Almost more than anything else, having letting them feel settled helps you on the court. You know? uh, so, but it's a new system. It's a, it's a much different style of play, obviously. Um, you know, I feel like in Atlanta, I was searching shots out a lot, really coming off screens and moving around a lot. And here, I'm, you know, you're just kind of waiting, not waiting, but more than that. You know, waiting for the ball to come to you and and uh, waiting for plays to evolve rather than chasing shots. And so, um, there's a little bit of a bit of a mindset change with that. Um, but I feel like it's, it's, it's been a good adjustment. When, when you were here, opposing teams, obviously, you were full. They would chase you around. It doesn't seem like that's the case there. I mean, is that just a function yeah. of having Kyrie and LeBron? And yes. <laughs> and you like that. You know, I'm, uh, yeah, you know, I think uh, you know, I'm, I don't know where I'm at in the pecking order here, but I don't know, fifth, sixth, seventh option, I don't know where I'm at, right. somewhere in there. And, um, you know, so, uh, I mean, teams are game planning for those guys. And, um, and then, more so than me, and it's opened up a lot of things and a lot of inside out passes, and, uh, a few more open shots, and it's been trying to knock them down. Kyle, this is not the first time you've come back to play a former team for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Is it still get emotional yeah. for you? Yeah, uh, it always is a little bit. You know, there's always. Uh, I realized yesterday I got to think about it a little bit because I've just there's been so much going on. I was like, I gotta process this now, so I'm not doing it during the game. <laughs> I feel like that's when you get yourself in trouble. Um, but uh, I mean, obviously, I have a lot of great memories and friends and relationships here. And, um, you know, so I'm, I'm sure a lot of that will come to the surface during the game. But at the same time, uh, it's just another game. It's a regular season game. It's a game that we want to want to win and uh, try to get better in. Did you get the air at the favorite restaurant or do any particular things yesterday because you had the day here? Yeah, well, we got in at like 4 in the morning, so I, I slept a little bit, and then um, and then just went to my house. My family's all here. They all came down for the week. My kids went to their old preschool, you know, for the week and saw their friends. And, um, we had a bunch of people over last night. We didn't, it was, uh, you know, it happened, everything happened so fast, you don't really get to say goodbye to people. So a lot of people stopped through yesterday and got to spend some time with them, and uh, that was great. What was that like just to be able to be around? You know, for me, people kind of get to say goodbye. Yeah. It just felt like I was on a really long road trip. You know, and then we like, came back and like, wow, this is our house. And, you know, we got to decide what we're going to do with it. Decisions for down the road, you know. But, uh, um, you know, Atlanta's obviously a, been a really comfortable place for me and my family. We had all of our kids here. Uh, and we had a lot, of, a lot of great memories. A lot of great memories with the Hawks and with Coach Bud. We got to visit with him a little bit yesterday. That was great. Um, but now I try to get that all done, and now I focus on the game. and. Um, try to get a win tonight. Here's when you say you cross it. How, how do you do that? I mean, just thinking about it and then. Yeah, you know, I think you um, think through your mindset, like, kind of like, you know, are my playing, like, what's my mindset going into the game? Am I, am I angry? Am I not? Am I, you know what I mean? Like, you just got to process all that a little bit. And, uh, you know, so I did a little bit yesterday. I feel like I'm in a good headspace. And we'll are you angry? Play tonight. <laughs> nah, nah, not at all. I'm not, I'm not. There's no anger, there's no bitterness, there's no anything like that. It's just. Right. It's just um, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for the time we had here, and, and, uh, and I'm grateful for the situation I'm in now. This is a great opportunity for me, and um, I'm really excited about it. Kyle, you said that you're huge. You recruitment to the Cavs. So how did you sum up what the organization's been like for you this short time? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not a hard sell. You know, you want to come here and try to win a championship. Um, there's, a, there's a real need for you, you know, when you have a team that just won a championship, you wouldn't think there's a huge need for many players, but we, we had, we had a, a real need for him. And I just told, I shared on the locker room, you know, what guys are like and how easy it's going to be. And, um, like I said, it, it wasn't a really hard sell. If the Hawks do some kind of video welcome or anything, will you think that'll get to you? Um, I don't know. They will. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What, kind of, what kind of reaction are you expecting from the fans? I mean, you had a close relationship with them during your time here, not only on the court, but off the court as well. Yeah, I man, I hope it's positive. 
and uh, I guess we'll see. Um, but like I said, I have a lot of great memories here and a lot of great relationships on the court, off the court here in Atlanta. Um, so I mean, no matter what they say, I'm going to feel good about everyone there. You're a free agent, obviously, after the year. Have you thought about that? And, and would you? Is, it, is this book closed here, the chapter here, or do you oh, consider coming back? I don't know. That's, I, I, I haven't answered a single question about free agency. You know, I, I really feel like I, this is an incredible opportunity for me to you know, be on a team that's contending for a championship, and I'm 100% focused and committed on that. And this summer we'll see what, what's available and what, what happens. It was, it was our, uh, it's our good position. Um, you All-Stars out, you know, our two guard is out as well, and so, so we've dealt with injuries this year too, and it's just, you know, it sucks for the game. And it's not only him, but you got you know, Jabari Parker who went down, you know, you got Embiid who went down, uh, you know, Kyle Lowry is down right now, and so on and so on, so it's never good for our league. Did you see uh, the NBA's announcement yesterday about hiring more officials and training them differently? Uh, not them. LeBron, you supported Colin Kaepernick in, in his protest last year. He's reportedly not going to be kneeling during the national anthem anymore because he doesn't want to detract from the, the positive message that's been going on the past few months. In your mind, has there been enough positive change over the past six months? At the end of the day, um, we just like the conversation to be had about, you know, about change and about uh, social responsibility. And I think, uh, like I said, what, he was very educated about what he did. And um, you, know, you commend someone like that. Um, you know, as far as us, what we do, you know, we're just trying to inspire, inspire the youth to their our future, and uh, by them watching us play the game and uh, us being role models to them off the floor as well. So, you know, it's a lot of things that's been going on, but you, know, you just try to be a positive role model and, and uh, hopefully the best come out of it. LeBron, I know it's been a short time, but can you talk about what the addition of Darren Williams has meant to you guys in the, uh, in the locker room and off the court so far? Uh, like I said, it's, it's, uh, it's a short time, but uh, you know, he's just veteran presence. You know, a guy that's been in a, you know, has run uh, franchises, he's been the head of franchises for a few times in his career. So, you know, just to add someone like that, it, it brings uh, you know, some basketball IQ, uh, you know, uh, professional, and uh, you know, a guy that knows the game. So, uh, we're looking forward to having him for the long haul. Oh, speaking of guys coming in, like Kyle Korver, he's been there a little longer now. Like, what have you been able to kind of see from him, and what's he meant to this team so far? Uh, well, obviously, you know, with the you know, uh, my brother right here being down for so long, you know, Kyle's been able to fit right in, and, and, and it's helped us out a lot, you know. So, um, but he's just a true professional. You know, he goes about his business every single day. You know what you're going to get out of him every single day. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, made shots, missed shots, whatever. You know, always get consistency, you know. And, uh, you know, and that, that, that definitely is, uh, you know, it's great to have around. Please talk about the mindset, having to adjust to being so wide open. Uh, and obviously, he's improved since he, since he got here. How would you describe his adjustments since he um, got here? Yeah, it's been a... <laughs> It's been a little bit of adjustment period for him, you know, but uh, you know, we just try to get him as open as possible, you know, and, uh, and then just trust his mechanics and trust what he's been doing, all, you know, his whole life and that shooting, shooting the ball. So, um, you know, we want to continue to get him the ball, get him in the right places, and uh, and then let it go. He's a guy you've played against a lot, obviously, but playing with him, what's something you've learned about him? Playing with him that you didn't know prior. I know everything about him. I competed against him a lot in my career. Um, you know, watch film studies, things of that nature, competing against him in the playoffs. So, uh, nothing surprising. Obviously, Kobe doesn't have basketball for the protective energy, but he also has a heck of a screen. Is that different? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, you know, Bogues is going to add uh, a lot to our team, not only protecting the paint, but, uh, but also screening and also uh, his ability to pass the ball. You know, he's going to give us another playmaker, you know, so um, it helps out a lot. The way Derek Williams is shot from three-point range, was that almost like an unexpected bonus? I don't think he was part of his MO. Um, we just, you know, if he works on it, then shoot it. We don't care. We, we don't. 
We only care when you pass up a three. You know, when you got a great look. That's when we win. You know, he had that moment in the fourth quarter in Boston. He passed up a wide open three. That's the only time we don't, like, we kind of like, okay, just shoot the ball. So, uh, we got a lot of three-point shooters, and uh, if guys work on it, then uh, let it go. As a dad, how tough is it to be away uh, from your kids on the road for so long? And, and how do you, how do you, is it hurt when you miss some of your son's basketball games? Yeah, it does. And uh, actually, my son is traveling today. My oldest son is traveling to Houston to play in the John Lucas tournament. Uh, so, you know, it sucks. But, you know, the great thing about today, you know, with social media and things of that nature, I'm able to kind of, like, watch the games as soon as uh, as soon as their games is over because it's, like, instant. So, and, uh, you know, it would be so many people covering these games, these AAU tournaments that I'm able to still watch them. But, you know, it's, it's much better, though, when I'm, when I'm there, you know, in, in the flesh. But, you know, daddy got to work. Anything else, guys?